Some things are just better that are older. Hastebin is one of those things. It's dead. It's gone away. And it's something that I miss a lot. Well, I mean, when I say it's dead, I mean, it's just kind of gone the dirty, icky API route of maybe farming your data and you need keys now to issue it from command line. And ugh, it feels like it's getting my data farmed when I'm using it. Or, hey, maybe there'll be like an ad pop up or some possible thing from the official hastebin.com site. I don't know what's going on with it, but needless to say, I was like, at least it's open source because then we can just kind of use on ourselves. And if you're not familiar with what Hastebin is, you're like, Titus, what is this thing? In short, you put a whole bunch of stuff in your text file, like, hey, uh, cool code here. Or, or, you know, it could be whatever. And then you just hit save. That saved gets you this URL. So if you type this URL into any site or any place, just hit paste and go, you'll get the raw file with that URL in it. And I was like, that's kind of cool. So it'll actually pull up that URL. And if you want just text, you can get just text with the raw file. And I was like, this is a neat tool. And even taking it further than that, I like to, let's say, let's, I want to give you my bash RC. I've already done this a couple times, but we're going to do it again. Just doing this one command, I can shoot you a link with just a thought, basically. Just say HB space file name, and then it'll just generate a URL that you can just click on, come back into here, and you'll have my entire bash RC. And if you want it in raw form, you got it in raw form. That is extremely powerful. And the whole reason why I made my own server for this, I took the open source project, rolled my own because I didn't want to do like an API key. I just wanted to be able to just paste this in anywhere, any computer without any authentication and just get these raw text files shared. And this isn't a new thing. I didn't think this up. This has been around forever. It used to be like ix.io. I used to use this all the time to do exactly that. And then after this was done, I think I was using something else. It was another Hastebin server, and then it disappeared. And I finally just got to the point where I was like, I guess I'm just going to roll my own. <laughs> so I created bin.christitis.com to do exactly this. And if you want to know exactly how to use Hastebin, it's pretty simple. I do it all the time in Windows and Linux. So if I'm in here, I have a PowerShell function, just put this into your PowerShell profile. If you have a bash function uh, or, or you use bash, you can put it into here. You could easily modify this for ZSH as well. I just mainly use bash. So that's why these are the two examples, but you could easily convert these to whatever you need to achieve this same thing. And I just want to show the power of Hastebin. It's something I miss. And you know, I, I, maybe I'm just getting to be an old man. I'm like, I just like it how it used to be. <laughs> and for this instance, I do. It's just so nice not having to touch the internet except to grab that raw file without any authentication, without anything, paste it up there and go. Now, obviously, if this gets abused, then yeah, I'll probably take it down or private it and use some obscure URL and then just use it myself. But at least now I can use the internet as it used to be, or at least how I thought. Now, some people are probably already yelling in the comments going, well, there's always been, you know, Pastebin and other fun stuff, or you could just use a GitHub gist. I understand all that, but I just like the minimal nature of Hastebin and just having it directly from my CLI to a URL without ever having to open up a web browser. And that's really the whole purpose of why I made my own Hastebin server to accomplish something that's been around for ages, but it's getting less and less. And it's hard to find another good Hastebin servers. So that's why I created it. And if you'd like to create your own, uh, here's the project. It's still there. It, it was bought out by top tall, I think it was. So I just forked this and, and made my own and rolled it. But you could do the same as well. The new version of Hastebin will be launched soon. And they said that a couple of years ago. So I don't know what that entails. 
I would probably go ahead and fork the project as it is today, though. It hasn't been updated in seven months, and I just, it, it's something I use all the time, and I, I miss it, and I love it. So hopefully you enjoy it too. Again, if you want to break down on how to do all that, go to chrisditus.com forward slash haspin, or if you just want to use it, you can also just do bin.chrisditus and put it all here. But probably the biggest use case I can see is a lot of coders just sharing code and things of that nature all the time on like my Twitch streams. I'll, I'll be pulling this up and I'll be like, oh, you guys want this file that is there as it is today. I can share it right there in chat and then you have the URL and you can just go to and pull it down. I think that's awesome. But what do you use? What am I missing? What old thing do you use to miss that is no longer there, but maybe it could be? Let me know in the comments section. And I'll see you in the next one.